Uh, hey guys, hope you're well. Yeah, so today we're going to be looking at multiplication using Python. Yeah, uh, so on a side note, um, I would appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel. If you like what you see, please do subscribe. Share the videos with your friends on WhatsApp, Telegram, whatever it is. Um, I'll greatly appreciate that. Okay, cool. So thank you in advance. So let's get started. I've got a variable I'm going to call Z, and my number will be 3.87. And my list of numbers, Q. So 1, 2, and then three, and then 4.6, 5, 10, 107, 999, 3005, 24,300, and 101007. Yeah, that will do. So that's my list. And, um, what I want to do is I want to multiply every number in Q by Z. So I'll just type in my answer. I'll send my answer to this. Um, X times Z for X in Q. Okay, cool. And then print my answer. So there we are. So every number in Q has been multiplied by 3.87. Okay. So basically just may pin it to there. And then I've got another way of doing things as well, multiplying stuff. So I've got a number, say my integer 15. And then uh, for i in range, so say from zero to um, 26. And um, what I'll do is now do print. So num times i that's equal to num times i. So basically what's going to happen is 15 is going to be multiplied by um, this range from 0 to 26. Okay, so it's basically going to be 0 to 25 anyway. And then, um, yeah, there we go. So there we are. So obviously this is limited because um, you've defined your number as uh, 15 and your range as well. So it's just gonna go up to 25 and that's it. Okay, cool. Um, then I can do a different method using a function or creating a function. So def or define then my function. Um, to a and then for x in range uh, 0 to I'll do the same 26 and then um, type in my print then my string a times my string x And that's equal to string a times x. Okay. So that's my function created and stuff. So all I need to do is just put in any random number. And I can keep using the same function over and over again. So that's the advantage of this method as compared to the other ones. Okay. So um, let me start with function. Sorry, function. Uh, to the three timetable. So there we are. Bravo, cool. And then function, I can do bigger figures as well. So two, three, seven, raised to the power of 13. So we just do the same thing, you know. So that's the advantage of that. That you can keep using the same uh, system but even though you're limited to uh, uh, 25 options but at least you can keep using it you know so then function I'll even do a bigger number um, 5271 raised to the power uh, 9 let's see so there we are numbers getting bigger and bigger and bigger
cool. So yeah, so that's a ni nice way of doing um, multiplication in Python. So um, hopefully you guys, hopefully you will find this useful. And please do subscribe. So yeah, have a great day. Cheers guys, bravo, bye bye.